plus, and then 4 squared minus 1 is, let's see, 16 minus 1 is 15. Well, if everything works out here, this should all sum to 25. Should sum to 25. Now, of course, there is a formula for this. There's not a formula for i squared minus 1, but there is a formula for i squared. There is a formula for i squared, and I guess maybe what I should do here is, is go ahead and state that. You'll find these uh, are actually under what are called theorems, um, but we're just calling formulas right now. Stated as theorems, and of course we're not proving them. You might find that in a discrete math course, but where they actually prove these. And so this is your I squared, and this is actually equal to N times N plus 1 times 2 to the N minus, or no, plus 1. Yeah. And that's all over 6. Now let's just go ahead and try this out. So up here, now of course remember we've got a minus 1 here. Okay, so we've got to keep that in mind, but that's okay. We're going we're gonna to break this up into two pieces because this is the properties of sum, summation notation. Properties are we can break this up. This is I squared minus sigma I going to 0 to 4. And I think I just noticed something, but that's okay. And then minus 1. All right. Now we're going to zero here. So we need to really calculate the zeroth one and then go to the first one because in our formula down here, the way this works is we don't start at zero, we start at one. See? But that's okay. So we're going from one to, what did I say again? Four. Yeah, four. One to four. So. I'm going to go ahead and plug 4 in to all this up here and see what we get. So we got 4 times 4 plus 1 times 2 times 4 plus 1, and that's all over 6. So I'm getting 30 over 6. Now this is going from I, or going from 1 to 4 up here. So I'm just go ahead and write this out. This is i equals 1 to 4 of i squared. Now remember we still have that very first term which was i equals 0 to 4 of i squared. And then we've got this one here which as you can see it's just a constant one so it's going to be one plus one plus one plus one plus one four times or five times that well starting at zero and then going to four and it's a minus sign actually right here I'm going to do so we would have this what the heck one plus one plus 1, plus 1, 1, 2, 3, or zero, think of this, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, so there's really 5 of them here, right? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, alright, and so plugging, uh, I made a mistake here. This is actually the zeroth one, sorry. In other words, we're just plugging zero in for the very first term, zero squared. Okay, zero squared is zero, so that's nothing. And we said this was 30. And then we're subtracting off um, one,